Hello everyone. Today we are back again with another video and today's video is all about switch case. Today we will be programming few examples on switch case to understand the switch case algorithm much more efficiently. We have already covered the theory part in our previous video. You can check it out in our playlist. And now we will begin with this video in VS code. So here we are back again in VS code and now we will be programming few questions here. So first of all, let us first include standard io.h and then we will write the main function that is the starting and the ending point of our program. Now let's say, let's define what is our question. So our question is an write a program to make a menu driven program menu driven program for a calculator now let's just write in the program we will just first of all we will write the menu here addition We'll write here like something like for addition press plus black backslash and yeah we will just copy this uh, this uh, statement and then we will okay and now I will just modify it for subtraction For multiplication and for division we will also change the symbol here for division we will press slash for multiplication we will take input as star and for you know, subtraction we will take the minus symbol and now we will ask the input as these plus minus multiplication and slash are the operators that are of character type we will ask the input in character type enter your choice and then we we'll just end it here and then scanner m person c and m person c okay here C is our choice. We have not declared it. Let's just declare it. Okay, now. Also, we will declare int A and B. As these two are the uh, variables in which the operation has to be done. So, we will ask the value that is printf. Enter the value of A and B. Okay. Sorry for that here. Okay now. And then we will just scan F two values M percent D here, comma A. We are taking the input for A scan F M percent D address operator and B. We are taking input for A and B. And now we will just switch our we will just use that the character that we have taken as the input as the switch for this menu driven program. We will just switch C that is and then here we have got the switch and then first case we have case one that is the case plus and then here we will be having our break. Okay, we will just copy this. We will just copy this one. Okay, now 
then we will okay we forgot this one in plus we will write here minus for subtraction in minus we will just write here multiplication and then here in division we will just write here you see they are giving some error here this was the error why because plus minus multiplication and division are the operate uh, are the uh, character type operator and character type every character type has to always be inside a inverted uh, inverted commas single inverted commas so here we are done now we will just write our program so first of all we have to in the uh, plus uh, that we have to just print f sum is equals to here m plus and d a plus b we will print here we'll just copy this one to make this uh, process faster okay we will just change the value here. difference a minus b product a into b and here we have to give two printouts because in division we get two values uh, first one being the quotient and second one being the remainder so for question we will just use a divide by b and for remainder we will use here okay we have forgotten the comma separator here okay now it's done this program is ready let's see this program once what we have done we have taken input here if we have, we have first of all we given the menu here then we have taken the input inputs of c that is our choice and a and b the value in which the operation has to be done and then we have selected the uh, make the c as the switch uh, switch for our uh, menu driven program and then if the uh, if the user give input of the c as plus then the, we will print the addition some part or in the if it, he will give the input as minus we will print the negative uh, mi minus part that is subtraction part and save goes on now let's just get the output here let's run the program f6 yes we have got few uh, here the menu for addition press plus for multiplication press minus for multiplication press um, uh, in multiplication symbol and for division the same enter your choice let's just say we want to add we will write plus and then here enter the value uh, okay and we will just enter the value as 2 and 3 for the input we want to add between and the output should be sum is equals to 5 let's just run it again and this time we will just uh, this time we will just select uh, division part okay then we have given the input as division enter the value of a and b let's say i want to divide between 56 and 3 then we are getting the equation and the remainder so this is how this program runs okay now let's move to the second program so here we are back again to our second program this program in this program we are making a menu driven program to we will take input as a uh, as a waiter do in a restaurant take orders in a restaurant and calculate 
the total amount okay first of all we will give the input as the uh, menu what we are having let's say in uh, first we will uh, we are having samosa that costs around 10 rupees next up we say idli that will cost around 5 rupees per piece next up we have dosa it will again cost you uh, us around 50 rupees per piece and at last we are having a dessert rasgulla let's a sweet and it cost us 15 rupees per piece this is our price let's say now take the cost variables let's say a comma b comma c comma d no let's just say cost 1 cost 2 comma cost 3 comma cost 4 comma cost 5 Samosa. now we will just initialize the value cost 1 that is the cost of samosa is 10 cost 2 that is cost of uh, idli is one, 5 cost 3 that is dosa is 50 and cost 4 that is sweet is 15 now we will take the input of choice ch we will take here now let's just this is the basic format of a switch case we'll just make ch as our switch button and then let's say the user gives input as case one one that is the samosa then we will ask the user how much samosa you want to take and then user will give us input as in number that is ampersand d comma n here so let's say we are taking a variable int n here that is this is n is the number of samosas that the user want to take now we will just print the total amount total amount ampersand uh, here total amount will be n multiply the multiply with cost 1 here we have our our case for samosa is ready now we'll just copy this one to make our program faster. Okay. Now change the value of case, case two, case three, case four. And here we are taking idli. In case two, we will take how much idli you want to take. So here and then the cost will be cost 2 here in case 3 we have dosas how many dosas the user want to take and here it should be c2 and then in case 4 we have the sweet how much sweet the user want to take and cost will be c4 okay i have here it will be c3 in the default we will just print
the dish you want to take is not available please come back later then we will just close this one okay our program is ready now let's just take a brief overview of our program here we have first of all we have declared the uh, we have declared the menu here okay we uh, here we uh, we have taken an error we have made an error here we have not taken the input for the choice what the user want to take that is enter your choice sir. and then scan f ampersand d and yes choice okay now now the program is ready we have given the menu here we have taken the input as choice and then after selecting the program will decide which case here uh, it has to go if the user is given the choice is one that is for samosa the program this part of the program will run if the user is given the uh, part three that is dosa this part the case three part will only run the other programs will not run but if uh, the user has given any number any number other than one two three and four the, this part of the program will run and it will say the dishes you want take is not available now we will just run the program okay it's giving the end n as the error here let's just erase these all in 10 and just declare it, it here now it will run fine okay let's just zoom to our input you see we have a uh, we have this one our menu here samosa 10 per piece idli 5 per piece dosa 50 per piece and sweet 15 per piece and it is saying enter your choice sir the waiter is asking enter your choice which uh, which dish you want to take let's say i want to take samosas then i will say one i want to take samosa then he, uh, the you uh, the program the, is asking the waiter is asking how much samosa you want to take sir then i will say let's say i have a grand party i will take 50 samosas now let's just see total amount will be 500 let's run this pro waiter program again let's say this time i want to take dosas in place of samosas let's say three okay i want to take dosas how many dosas do you want to take the waiter will ask now i will give the input as let's say i uh, this is a family party and i want four dosas let's say i write four and you see we have the total amount as 200 so you see this is a menu driven program and we provide a menu the user select one and a certain amount of part of the program it will run and other will not let's just say we will give another uh, run here and uh, let's say i want i will i have seen the menu that one two three and four samosa idli dosa sweet and i'm asking for another days other than these four let's say burger I will ask I want burger I am giving the uh, choice as 8 now let's see what the user will say this dish you want to take is not available please come back later this is uh, what default uh, keyword do in this switch case so now let's just wrap this video and understand uh, if you are un unable to understand the switch case now also you can just re-watch the theory part and then come to this programming part this is clear your pro uh, clear your all your doubts in switch case now let's just wrap this video with a big smile and okay if you like this video and if you want these kind of videos more please give a subscribe to us also like our video and do subscribe them to uh, to your friends thank you for watching